So in this short video, I am going to demonstrate how to calculate the number of degrees of freedom using the phase rule. So the number of degrees of freedom is the number of independent intensive variables required to define the thermodynamic state of a system. So it is given by the phase rule which states that so the phase rule for non-reactive system is given by f equal to c minus p plus 2 where a so f is the number of degrees of freedom c is the number of components and p is the number of phases so to explain this phase rule let me take the example of triple point of water so this is the pressure temperature diagram for water and this is the triple point now we all know that at triple point the solid the solid liquid solid liquid and vapor will coexist the solid liquid and vapor all these three will coexist at the triple point hence at triple point the number of phases equal to 3 the number of component will be 1 because we are only dealing with water over here so if i calculate the degrees of freedom it will be f equals to c minus p plus 2 using this phase rule if i use this phase rule the number of degrees of freedom at the triple point equals to f equals to c minus p plus 2 which is equal to 1 minus 3 plus so it is equal to 0 at the triple point so what does this indicate this indicates that the triple point is already a defined state we no longer need any independent intensive variables to define this triple point as you can see that at triple point the pressure is 0.006 atmosphere and the temperature is 0.01 degrees hence it is a fixed state and it cannot be altered so we do not need any variables to define this hence the degrees of freedom is coming 0 at the triple point so now let's consider any other points other than the triple point that is in this region so in this region if i try to calculate the degrees of freedom if i try to calculate the degrees of freedom it will be c minus p plus 2 so the number of component will be 1 because we are talking about water but the number of phases in this region will be 2 because i am talking about liquid and vapor liquid vapor are in equilibrium in this region so the number of phases is 2 and plus 2 i have here so the degrees of freedom is coming 1 so in this region if I want to fix the point in this graph I either need to know the pressure if I know the pressure I can find the temperature so the degrees of freedom is 1 or if I know the temperature I can find the pressure so I need to know either temperature or pressure to define the state in this region hence the degrees of freedom is coming to be 1 so I hope the degrees of freedom concept is now clear now what we will do is we will try to solve an easy problem so the problem says the number of degrees of freedom for an azeotropic mixture of ethanol and water in vapor liquid equilibrium is so they are asking for the number of degrees of freedom so we know that f equals to p minus p plus 2 but this is applicable for non azeotropic mixtures for azeotropic mixture we need to subtract 1 over here so what we will get is the number of component is 2 because we have ethanol and water so it will be 2 the number of phases is also 2 because vapor and liquid so minus 2 plus 2 and we have a minus 1 this minus 1 is for the azeotrope so this will be equal to 2 minus 2 is 0 so 1 so the degrees of freedom is 1 in this case so this was all about degrees of freedom thank you